Now I have a question on the short range. Why does objectivism make such an issue over whether something is short range or long range? For example, if I go to a movie, that's a short range action. Why is it a moral issue? And what will a long range movie going be? Well, it is short range in the sense that it's something that starts and ends with no consequences of significance to you. But it, if you are rational, it occurs within a long range context as an expression of a principle the importance of production and the importance of consumption of relaxation as part of a productive life. The importance of art and therefore the importance uh, of a movie as one possible way of uh, 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 perceiving, experiencing your values, etc. If it's done within that framework, but then if it's done within that framework, you don't just walk down the street and fall into uh, whatever uh, movie is there. You want a certain kind of movie in a certain kind of uh, location uh, and within the, the confines of, of the schedule that you have. So you, uh, it's the opposite in that sense of short range. It's as dictated by and integrates with your long range uh, goals. It would be short range if you're having an exam tomorrow and you just feel like it and you go into it to help, to help with the consequences. That is short range. But, and that is what's uh, wrong. An undertaking doesn't have to be long to be uh, 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 long range because it can be a short element within uh, the long range. The whole reason why a man needs the long range is the reason why he needs morality, why he needs a conceptual faculty, uh, uh, why uh, the alternative is an, being an animal or a whim worshiper. And this is uh, uh, thoroughly uh, covered in, uh, in uh, the objectivist literature. A, a short range example, if you want one in uh, real life, is the Obama administration's policies. We're going to have more jobs and we're going to get it by providing more shovels and giving more money to the unions. Uh, and it doesn't make any difference. We're, oh, and we're going to kill a billionaires and millionaires. Uh, it doesn't make any difference what the consequences are. He wants jobs, regardless of cause or effect. That is a short-range uh, uh, behavior. The most eloquent example I can think of in my whole life is one I just heard of uh, the other day on TV. There was a cruise boat uh, down in Newport uh, Beach Harbor near where I live, and it had about 80-odd people on it, and they were just sailing in the harbor. And a man in his, I don't know, 40, something like that, uh, had his little seven-year-old boy, and the boy was uh, apparently crying and misbehaving, and the father had told him to shut up, and he didn't. And the father just picked the kid up and threw him over the side of the boat. And the kid was just bothering him and to hell with it. Now, that, it wasn't murder, which could be part of a long-range corruption. It was just he wants to get rid of the nuisance, and he's not thinking of what happened. And then when someone told him, he said, oh, my God, and jumped over him. They saved the kid, and he's up now for uh, all kinds of criminal charges. But that, to me, is the best example to bear in mind. He got a short-range satisfaction at what kind of cost?